guys so today I thought I would do a winter essentials video winter is definitely here I feel like it's arrived only in the last couple of weeks in the UK it's just started to get really really cold um, so I thought I would do a video all about my personal winter essentials it's not everything in this video you must have for winter it's personally what I like to use during winter I thought I would share it with you all so I'm going to talk about beauty fashion PJs candles food all of that good stuff. I'm going to start with beauty and I'm going to get right into it because I have already waffled enough and I have a lot of things to talk about. So the first thing um, when it comes to skincare, obviously a good moisturiser is essential. I use a really nice moisturiser all year round because I do have, I've got very normal skin but it does tend to get a little more dry in the winter months. So I use the Organic Pharmacy Antioxidant Face Cream. This has been a favourite of mine for... Uh, probably almost a year now. I think this is the third pot I've got through and I'm almost finished with it. I really like this because it's rich but it's not too heavy on your skin. It doesn't feel like it leaves your skin greasy at all and it smells really fresh and citrusy too. When it comes to skincare in the winter, that's usually the time when I crack out a serum and start using a serum for that extra kind of boost of hydration and moisture to my skin because the cold weather really can dry it out. And the product I've been using from Ren is Keep Young and Beautiful. This is obviously aimed at anti-aging, but I find it's really, really good at kind of leaving your skin feeling plump and smooth and moisturised. It's really good at getting your skin ready for foundation. So I've been using this this month. As you can see, I've used probably a third of this. Um, I've only had it for maybe three weeks, but I really like it a lot. Moving on to makeup. In the winter, I find I use a primer a lot more than I do in any other month because I think it... I, I don't know, winter's that time when you notice your foundation is just applying a little bit drier and just not looking as nice and kind of fresh so I like to use a primer and my favourite one, this has been my favourite on and off for a long time, it's the Laura Mercier foundation primer, this is the original one but they do do an oil free, I just feel like this is like an extra layer of moisturiser for my skin, I know um, a lot of primers are very kind of silicone based and a little bit more um, weird texture but this genuinely feels like it's moisturising as well as priming your skin, it just leaves it lovely and smooth and I like that a lot. When it comes to foundation, I have been using my Makeup Forever Face and Body Foundation, which I mentioned in my November Favourites video. But another one that I really like in the winter months is the Bourjois 123 Perfect CC Cream. Basically, it doesn't dry your skin out and it gives you good coverage and it lasts all day and it just looks really natural. So it's perfect for the winter months and it's not too expensive either because you can get it from Boots. For lipstick, obviously in the winter months, everybody likes to go a little bit darker or get their red party lip out. The one that I'm wearing at the moment is actually... Um, uh, a new favourite of mine, this is Charlotte Tilbury's Love Liberty. But my other two favourite dark lips for winter time, especially for Christmas, are first of all Max Riri Woo. I don't know if this is identical to Ruby Woo, but I feel like it is. It's a gorgeous, classic matte red and it stays on for ages. This was from the limited edition collection last. I think it was like last October with the rose gold packaging, but you can get Ruby Woo as part of the uh, permanent collection. I really like that a lot. Very good classic red for your makeup collection. And then the other one is a super cheap one. This is actually from Wet n Wild, which you can't get in the UK, but they are really easily available in the States, and I think they're about $3 or something like that. I can't remember the exact name of this lipstick, but they only have one that looks like this. It's something like like everlasting, you know what I mean? It like It's a long-lasting lipstick, and it's in 965 Cherry Picking. It's the most beautiful, deep, but bright pink that I have. I think the problem when you come to using bright pinks is that a lot of the neons can look a little bit cheap. This one doesn't and it lasts a super long time and yeah, perfect for the Christmas season. For nails I actually have quite a lot of different colours. Um, come on, we have to have them for Christmas don't we? I mean, I am the biggest glitter nail polish fan ever, but for the winter in general I like to stick to, um, or I like to, I don't stick to them, but I like to go for the more like plainer kind of creamy but darker pinks so this is Revlon Cherries in the Snow which is a really nice bright but still quite deep pink and then I also love Essie Bahama Mama this is one of my favourite favourite autumn and winter shades ever I'm also wearing at the moment um, a gel shade this is like a gel that I did at home I can't actually remember the specific name of the shade but it's from a brand called Sensation Ale and I have never done gel at home before and I'm really really liking it it's the first time I've done it and it turned out really well and I've got to say I'm a fan I think I might be a convert so gel at home is my new favourite thing not necessarily seasonal it's not like a repetitive seasonal thing because I only just discovered it but I'm liking it at the moment and then obviously of course it goes without saying 
you've got to have some glitter in your life. Um, my all time favourite glitter for Christmas is this one which is from China Glaze and it's called Ruby Pumps. It's just a perfect Christmas polish. If I was going to create a nail polish that just said Christmas, it would be this one. Um, so yeah, I usually wear that around Christmas and then I also have been loving OPI Snow Globe Trotter which is from the Gwen Stefani collection. That I mentioned this in my November favourites as well so I'm not going to go on about it too much but it's a white snowflakey glitter, gorgeous. I also love um, Sephora's Formula X Alchemy which again I mentioned in one of my recent videos, really pretty if you want something that's glittery but a bit more subtle at the same time. And then last but not least if you want to go for like an alternative Christmas glittery colour that isn't red or white uh, or gold then I also love Butter London's uh, Scouse which is a almost, it's like a duochrome glitter but it goes like blue and purple, still festive but not so traditional, love that a lot. Something that I probably should have mentioned along with the lipsticks is lip balm because I cannot be without lip balm in the winter, my lips get really dry and my favourite one is something that I bought back in October and I honestly have been using it ever since. I've kind of avoided putting it in a video because it's quite ridiculously expensive for a lip balm but honestly if you are that way inclined and you want to spend a lot of money on a lip balm this one is the way to go. It's the Creme de la Mer lip balm. I think it's around 30 or 35 pounds. It's ridiculous I know I shouldn't have spent that much money on a lip balm but at least I'm using it up. I've used about half of it since October and it's just so wonderful. It's almost like minty and cooling but it's really really like gorgeous on the lips, it stays on your lips for a long time as well, a lot of lip balms just disappear but if you want a more affordable option, my other favourite from one end of the spectrum to the other, because I think this is about 189 or something like that this is the Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula Lip Balm, which I also love, this was my favourite from last winter and I still really like it, if you like chocolate, this tastes like chocolate and it's good um, and then for hand cream, this is actually a recent discovery, but hand cream is obviously an essential for winter Aveda Hand Relief, um, the Night Renewal Serum I actually got sent this last week and initially I was like really an overnight hand serum that is so high maintenance I'm not sure about that but I tried it and genuinely this is the best stuff ever and I wouldn't just use it overnight use it as hand cream whenever you want it is so gorgeous it smells like oranges like orange oil and it's just so lovely and perfect for winter it's got quite a festive scent to it it almost feels like um, oily like oily but not greasy if that makes sense like it's a kind of oh it's just so lovely you gotta try it to believe it go to an Aveda counter and use some of the tester and see what you think because I think it is amazing and then finally for beauty products my favorite winter perfume is from Diptyque and it's Eau de Well I think I bought this at the beginning of this year but when it was still winter so I feel like it may have been like January February time this is like a spiced vanilla scent and as you can tell I've used up a lot of it I love this, for the winter it's just so warm, it almost makes you feel like warm and cosy, slightly gourmand, like you do smell like you could eat it and it just, it's really really nice, I definitely recommend this. So moving on to my fashion essentials for winter, if you guys watch any of my fashion videos or my vlogs, you will know I am big into my boots, my first essential has got to be riding boots, I wear riding boots all the time but especially so in winter. These are my current faves and they are from Geox which is not normally a shop I would go into but I really really like these. They're just a classic riding boot but they have the um, suede detail on the top and they're so comfortable. Riding boots definitely a winter essential for me as are ankle boots. These ones are new, I picked these up in Topshop the other day. I do also have a rag and bone pair that are fairly similar like the ankle boots but the heel is quite a bit higher than this and I wanted ones that still had a heel but weren't like uncomfortable because the rag and bone ones if anyone's wondering about those boots they are not comfy so these ones are from Topshop and they're pointed just the perfect kind of everyday boot that you can wear either with tights and a skirt or with jeans or a dress whatever you want to wear it with I thought these were good classic basics and black boots you can never go wrong with black boots in the winter as long as you've got a short pair and a long pair you are sorted another fashion essential for me in the winter are hats I have three favourites to show you today the first one is my monochrome bobble hat which is from M&S and I have been obsessed with monochrome recently I really like this one a lot I also have two um, big floppy hats well one of them is floppy and one of them is structured this one is from Primark I'm not sure if they still have these but they did have them uh, I picked this up maybe six weeks ago, something like that. Really like it. I think it was about ten pounds as well. And then the last hat is from Topshop. Is that on the right way? Yeah. Um, and this I really like because it's two toned, which 
actually it's quite hard to wear, um, but I do really like this hat a lot. Hats are really, really good in the winter because they keep your head warm. I think you lose something ridiculous, like 70% of your heat through your head. Um, but they're also quite stylish too. My next winter essentials are scarves. I am obsessed with scarves to the point of it being borderline a little bit silly because I wear them even in the summer as well but in the winter obviously they're very practical as well as being slightly addictive and stylish. The first one is this giant Czech print scarf from ASOS which I believe is now sold out. It's still on their site but I don't think it's in stock at the moment. I imagine it will be coming back because I know it's been really popular. I've seen a lot of people wearing it um, but they also have a grey version of this at the moment that I love. The reason why I like oversized scarves is because they're just so warm. They can hide a multitude of sins. You can just wrap them around your head if you want to hide or go to sleep on the train or on a plane or whatever and they just really really keep you warm. Another one which again is a recent purchase from ASOS which I love is this one which has almost, I feel like it's almost a bit um, occultish, like it has kind of all the stars and like um, yeah, it feels a bit like witchy. And then my other favourite is another checked one, which isn't current. This I got from Madewell last year, but I wanted to show it to you guys because I love it so much. It's a bit smaller than the first one, but I really like it because it's really distressed and it has like holes in it and stuff. Love that. Another style essential for winter, of course, is jumpers. My favourite one is this baggy one from Topshop because it is amazing for layering up with scarves. I wear it with jeans. You could wear it... Um, with whatever you want basically, but I love this one a lot. Anything kind of loose fitting and soft, you can kind of layer it up. So that's my favourite kind of serious jumper. My favourite Christmas jumper is one from Topshop. I think this is maybe two or three years old. It's this one, it's got sequins all over it and stars and it's just very festive. It's cheesy, but I like to rock it around Christmas because you can't wear Christmas jumpers any other time. And then one that's kind of halfway in between a uh, Christmas jumper and a serious jumper, a serious jumper, um, is this one, which is my cold shoulder top shot one. I've talked about this quite a lot, but I'm gonna wear this at Christmas. I've also worn it in November before it was acceptable to wear Christmas jumpers just because it is sparkly. It's not specifically Christmas, but it is appropriate for Christmas and perfect for winter. For my at home kind of PJs, off duty favourites, I have three things. The first is a pair of socks. Warm, fuzzy socks has got to be an essential for me, but I picked these ones up when I was in Chicago from Bath & Body Works. Little polar bear fuzzy socks. I love these so much. These are my favourite things to wear around the house at the moment. When it comes to PJs, I actually did a haul video last week with a load of PJs and stuff in it, so I'm not going to talk about the same ones, but another pair that aren't Christmas specific but are perfect for the whole kind of winter season are these ones. I actually got these last year from Next. They're like a really super soft micro fleece, but they do do similar ones now. I don't think they have the same print, but I think they have like a gray version and things like that. But this texture and this fabric is just really nice for pajamas because it's not like too warm fleece, but it's just really like soft and nice. And then lastly, if you guys follow my vlog channel and you've been following vlogmas for the past uh, week and also for the past few years you will know that i'm slightly obsessed with onesies um i got my first onesie maybe three years ago i think or two years ago mike bought me one for christmas and i've been hooked ever since this is my latest edition which i was actually really lucky i got given this when i went to the clothes show the other day and it is Dun, da, da, da. Um, it's the Marius onesie from One Piece. These are so soft and so comfortable. Pretty much any time that I'm at home and off duty, I will be wearing a onesie in the winter, especially around Christmas time. And if you want a discount code for the One Piece website, I'll put that in the info bar below as well, because they gave me a discount code, um, which is always good. In terms of candles for winter time, I think my all-time favourite one is Fresh Balsam from uh, Bath & Body Works. This one is actually left over from last year because after Christmas I don't burn them. Because they're hard to get hold of, I kept hold of this one until this year because I knew I wasn't going to be able to buy another one and they smell just like Christmas trees. So basically if you want your whole house to smell like Christmas trees, get hold of this candle. My other favourite for the whole kind of season in general is Ness Moroccan Amber. Again, this is a new one that I've been saving um, until... I think I might start burning this this weekend or wait until I've finished the candle that's in my hallway at the moment and then replace it with this one. It just smells so warm and nice. It's not particularly seasonal, like you could burn it any 
time of the year and no one would be like, oh, your house smells like Christmas. But it is just very warm, so it's perfect for winter time. And then lastly, for food and drink, my winter essentials. This is a bit off the top of my head because I haven't really planned this one in advance. But obviously, my spiced orange hot chocolate, if you didn't watch my last video where I showed you how to make it, that is my new favourite thing to cook for every or not to cook, to make for everybody when they come round. Um, because it really is delicious and thanks to everybody who's tweeted me pictures as well love it and I also am loving the eggnog latte from Starbucks this year I used to love gingerbread lattes and I feel like now I don't know they're not as good as they used to be I also love it's not really a Christmas essential but well it's a Christmas essential it's not a winter essential pigs in blankets mini sausages wrapped in bacon and devils on horseback which if you guys don't know are the dates wrapped in bacon they are my favorite things at Christmas if I could have Christmas dinner of my choice, I would just have a whole plate of those dates and sausages wrapped in bacon and that I'd be happy with, with some cheese from the cheese board as well. So anyway, that is it for this video. I'll see you again on Friday with a get ready with me video. I'm going to a Christmas party on Friday or on Thursday night. So I'm going to post the get ready with me video on Friday. And I'm so excited for you guys to see my dress because I am like obsessed with it. But I hope you guys like this video and I hope it's not three years long. I will see you again on Friday. Lots of love. Bye. So first up for the ingredients, to make one mug of my spiced orange hot chocolate you're going to need some milk. I'm using semi-skimmed organic milk but you can choose whatever you want a non-dairy option.